Big Hawk 45, and we're on ice today, yes, with the Marlin STP uh, 4570 Trapper. Kind of a rare rifle. You've seen it in action, I hope, if you've been around a while. And you know, the beauty of YouTube is you don't have to have been around a while to see it in action more than today. <laughs> the videos are up there. Uh, go to FAQ 54 if you don't know how to search a channel and uh, plug in Marlin STP Trapper. And I think we have three videos already. This will be four. And this one will probably be posted by the time you see this. Did I say that? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Uh, so, you know, you can find the others. It's a really cool, cool uh, rifle in, in so many ways. And uh, uh, what else can I talk about this gun? Uh, this is uh, a kind of a rare bird. Uh, well, let me shoot it first. Let me tell you how I got this in case you're new to the channel. Because I just stumbled upon this crazy thing. 16 inch barrel Marlin 4570. Got four rounds in it. And uh, we're going to shoot nothing but ice today. And I'll just start with that one right there. How's it? <laughs> yeah, I think it'll take it out. Uh, let's shoot that one gallon jug there. Oh, man. Empties it out, doesn't it? Uh, how about that one right beside it? Oh, that one over there by the cowboy needs to be emptied. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got another round. Okay, I topped it. Oh, it holds five. That's right. There's one over there. It needs to be shot. <laughs> now it's empty. Yeah, we uh, we noticed that uh, it's been very cold lately. Uh, I don't know when you'll see this, probably after it's posted, but uh, it's been very cold in early January in uh, Tennessee as well as a lot of other places. And it's, I, I, I was surprised, but I noticed that whenever I leave water outside on the porch or anything like that, it got hard there's some change form or something it just got hard and whether it was a drink you're drinking or anything if you just let it sit on the porch you left it on the shooting table you'd grab it again and it'd be a different form it'd be really hard and i thought you know what that might make an interesting target we've done it before but let's just do it let's just have a shoot called the ice shooter on ice and just just do it okay so that's what we're doing we're not allowed to shoot anything else today except ice because we have a fair amount of it okay and that's what we're going to do so let me load this thing back up. As I was uh, saying before, I just walked in. It was actually Guns and Leather in Greenbrier, Tennessee, several years back. We're shooting Federal Ammo, our favorite. Look at this. And getting low on 4570. I've got some back ordered. Hopefully it gets here soon. Uh, but uh, I just saw it. I did not know it was a limited edition. And I did not know that uh, in a very short time, people would be uh, searching everywhere for JM model Marlins, you know, the old Marlins, you know, before they were bought out. So I was just lucky that day that I stumbled into it, saw it, but that's a pretty neat rifle. I like that. And it is, uh, what was it? It was six, maybe seven. I forgot what I paid for it. It was kind of, you know, expensive, but I thought, you know, that, I don't know. I hadn't seen one like it. Didn't even know they made it. And I thought, you know what? I just, I got to take that home. And I did. And well, you know, now these crazy things, uh, the STP models, there they're were only 500 of them made. I didn't know that. And, uh, you know, they sell for 1500 2000 bucks, you know. And, and of course, I've had people contact me trying to buy this thing because of the videos. But, you know, we don't, you know, sell guns, you know, through the videos. We don't do that. Uh, and I don't want to sell it anyway. But it's just turned into a collectible. This one's number 41 out of 500. And uh, just a nifty little rifle. You know, I, I just, uh, I like it. I don't shoot it that much, but I put this sling on it this morning. I need to shorten that a little bit, I think. But uh, I who knows? It might be my carry gun here. I kind of like it. So anyway, this is an ice shoot. We're going to shoot nothing but ice, even the paper target here. I put the paper target up, and so we probably will end up with a, well, I don't know, a hole in it. But I'm going to shoot the uh, jug. Yep, there we go. <laughs> That's the rule on an ice shoot. We're on ice today, so we shoot nothing but ice. Let's get those four hanging down there. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> I must have got that one low. Oops, didn't have enough powder in that case. Didn't even get out the barrel, did it? 
that's because there was no case in there so uh, well wow. yeah this is a cool rifle uh, it's uh, I think I've joked about it being my concealed carry 4570 or having a holster for it and you almost could because it's so short and uh, pretty nifty pretty nifty we thought it'd be perfect for the ice shoot you know so uh, so yeah when I figured out uh, that whatever was left outside uh, in terms of liquid was changing form and becoming harder for some reason I thought well let's just get some bigger jugs John and set them out here and uh, see if these make good targets and uh, that's kind of what we did what we did Whoop. tried to pop one out there oh there we go get in there here we go all right <laughs> oh I know let's go over there on the hill Let's try that one on the barrel over there. If you just have two targets over there, we can shoot. They're both hard water. We're coming under it. <laughs> I think I touched it, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I was shooting a little bit low. I haven't shot this thing much. Now we got a bigger one down there hanging. It's a uh, two or three gallons. Oh, excuse me. It's just hard water. <laughs> oh. Well, it's not high capacity, as you can imagine. When you have a 16-inch barrel, you're not going to have really high capacity, are you? It's just difficult to manage that. Big old 45, 70 rounds, holds five of them in the chamber or in the magazine. Oh yeah. And I just already lost count. Even counting to five is tough for me. Why don't we top it off? Put one in the chamber, put the hammer down carefully. Point it down range. All right, I think that one needed another round over there. <laughs> I'll try it. Well, it's probably empty of ice. Let me try one more on it, though. Yeah, just going through it, passing through the plastic. Uh oh, there's some more. <laughs> 4570, hard to beat. Oh, is that all the big ones? Oh, oh there's one leaning against that post. <laughs> Little ice, little ice. Well, let's get this Listerine bottle here. There's another one, but you know what? I thought I might try my 357 too here, since uh, I don't know, it just seemed like another good ice gun. Stainless steel. Let's try one of these right here. Good shot. <laughs> that was pretty pathetic, wasn't it? Actually missed at this range. Boom. Yep, that's full of ice. And so is that. Oh, there's another Listerine bottle. All right. Whew. That thing kicks a little bit in this cold weather. <laughs> uh, perfect. Seven rounds. No, I had another round, actually. But I think we have wiped out everything. And again, that was the rule. Just ice. Just ice today. So, uh, I, I don't know. Are y'all like that when it's cold and snowy, especially, or there's ice around? You just think stainless steel. It makes a stainless steel firearm more attractive. And maybe that's just me. And uh, when it's snowy and cold or icy and cold, uh, the other thing comes to my mind for some reason when I'm just going out to shoot or prowl around is big bore. You know, something, I don't know, powerful, maybe stainless, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's my fantasies about being a, a great hunter or something. But uh, this is a pretty cool rifle. And I just thought we'd bring it out for uh, one of our uh, on-ice shoots. You see the JM on the barrel? Stands for uh, John Marlin. Yes. And uh, nice rifle. 
So I'm glad that it got cold, gave us an excuse to, uh, to, to drag this thing out and uh, see how it would do on ice. So we appreciate y'all coming around and appreciate your support, uh, especially coming out on a cold day like this. I know it's hard for, for you all because you're just watching and it's more fun for me. I'm cold, but I'm at least getting to shoot. You're cold, but you're just having to watch. Sorry about that. But uh, we're still glad you came by. Appreciate you supporting everybody that supports us. We'll see you on the trail. Life is good. Hey, Dad, will you throw me another pot? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just setting up here for another video. Wanted to remind you guys to check out our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you get certified in gunsmithing and get an associate's degree in firearms technology. They also accept GI Bill. So check them out over at sdi.edu. And also check out our friends at vaultechsafe.com. You've seen the pistol safes on the, uh, the, the main shooting table in some of our videos. So check them out if you need one of those. And also go to hickok45.com and you can find basically everything that you need to know about us. You can see all of our various supporters over there and stay up to date on uh, our Facebook pages and uh, Twitter, Hickok45 on Facebook, the real Hickok45 at Instagram. Uh, there's also the Hickok45 and Sun YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. And full30.com, we've got videos over there. So just go to hickok45.com and that's where you can basically find anything else you need to know. And also our store, don't forget that.